Hi, I am Abdullah Nase. I have just finished my fourth year in mechanical engineering, and my final year project was parabolic of axis collector with a stationary focal point. I'll tell you more about the project from the beginning till this stage, which is in front of you in the picture, and then I'll tell you the problem I faced during the project and the problems which you can face in this project, and how you can make the project more good so you can get better marks, of course. The design of the collector was given by United Kingdom Astronomy Astronomy Technology Centre. The main purpose of this type of collector was to have a stationary focal point so it can accommodate many types of receiver and collector with the rig is portable. In 2013-14 the collector and the parts of the rig was manufactured by Bayern. In 2014-15 the collector was assembled onto the rig so it can rotate and move along the axis of rotation and this part was done by me there are two phases of this project one of which is manufacturing and other is testing in manufacturing the assembling of the collector onto the rig with all parts exactly took me around 3 months now you will think how is that possible that it can be done in 5 to 10 days it took me 3 months because i faced a lot of problems and you can face the same problems but i'll help you and i'll try my best in this video to tell you that you will not face i'll tell you the solutions that you will not face these problems before starting this project you need to study the cat file it will tell you about the whole assembly of the rig it is very important to know the cat file there is a problem in the cat file that you will sort it out when you learn the cat file that the shortest rod is not fully inserted in the small bearing and i and i had followed the same but it's too risky you have to make the rod to be fully inserted so there will be then no damage after a while the picture you can see will tell you that the nuts are included to fix the inner aluminum tube with the bearing as it was loose before when you want to reassemble the collector from the rig, unscrew the nut from the short cord and pull out the bearing. The bearing will be stuck most probably because, the, or because of the rust. So you have to use WD-40 to lose the bearing. And then remember that one person should hold onto the collector and one person should remove the bearing or else the collector will fall off. The solid was changed, the solid rod which you, which you will see in the CAD file is changed to the threaded rod to alter the length of the short length to fix the focal point to the main receiver. You have to be very careful when you are deassembling or assembling the collector onto the rig because if the collector will fall off, it's a very light collector, there will be a lot of problems. This part is rear attachment and the inner thread of it is half broken so the axle rod are not fully in inserted. So what you can do, you can re-thread the inner thread of the rear attachment and then can use the fully axle rod. In t when testing outside the lab, you need to be patient to get the focal point on the receiver. You need to move the collector and rotate the collector to obtain the focal point. Retracing analysis is very important into onto the collector, so I will need a tripod stand to do the retracing to check where the focal point is coming, as it as it should come on the receiver by manufacturerly. For theoretical retracing, I used Autodesk, but I should have used MATLAB, of course, to do the rear theoretical retracing. If MATLAB has is used, the results will be very good and will tell that the collector is concentrating all the energy on the receiver or not by design so by design we have to use the matlab to see if the if the focal point is correct or not and by using a tripod stand we need to see the manually it is concentrating on the focal point or not some more of the mistakes I made that you should not make is that when you feel you are going to take a major step, you should see all the aspects before going to do anything, like for example manufacturing or cutting. Read the CAD files carefully so you don't do any mistakes in the assembling of the collector to the ray. Thank you for listening. For any information, you are free to Email me on abdullah underscore nasir10 at the rate of hotmail.com.